Hello everybody. Good evening. Welcome back to my channel. So today I give English Comprehension Men's Sectional Mock Test from textbook. This is test number 2. And now I will share my rank and my score in this examination. And I all will also discuss the detail analysis portion. And if you guys like this video, please watch this video till end. And if you have any questions regarding to this video, feel free to ask me in the comment section. And I will give my best to answer all of your questions. So let's start. Here you see, out of 666 candidates, my rank is 127 and out of 50, I get 28 marks and my accuracy is 72.1%. I know it's low. There are so many reasons of my accuracy and my percentile. I will share it later. Out of 50, I get 43 marks and my percentile is 81.09%, near about 82%. Then I will go now the sectional portion. You see, as usually English comprehension questions ask from uh, reading comprehension and um, failures, double failures, closed taste. Uh, then I will sh show you error detection. Next, uh, um, closed taste is done next para jumbles that kind of questions asked here so number one questions asked from reading comprehension and the question was deplored antonym i actually didn't know the meaning of deplored so that's why i take the word deprecated i know the meaning of deprecated because it gives like negative sense but i did i didn't know the meaning of deplored so mistakenly it was wrong and the correct answer is admired and the next question was relentless synonym obdurate i correct it next uh, what is the reason behind india's abstention from the unga resolu resolution the answer will be like uh, the seventh sentence of the second paragraph says that the government has also said that it needs to remain on good terms with both sides with as its primary focus remains the safe exit of Indians from the conflict conflict zone. So that mean, means that uh, India wants to remain friends with everyone. So I didn't know the, you know, I didn't find the options. That's why I just do the guesswork. It's my fault. If you don't please do this same in the next mock i will try my best to don't do any guesswork because actually it deducts my marks fourth question is from idiom best on good terms meaning pleasant relationship with someone it's easy fifth question is wrong and the wrong question was like what do you intend to do to inculcate the idea of uh, basudeva the via kutumbakam in society but you see here it's mentioned it may become necessary for india to engage more deeply with the conflict in europe which is now a global concern but uh, here is not mentioned the same sentence meaning like that that's why i take here i don't know why the answer is five here is not mentioned clearly so i don't know the actual answer of this question next six question is from reading comprehension this is also easy seven question is from reading comprehension turn a blind eye idiom meaning deliberately overlook something i correct it and next central theme i basically in reading comprehension question true false or central theme best question i avoid because i know uh, if i do this there was some confusion there was some risk of wrong questions right so that's why i avoid it ninth question is from reading comprehension basically it's an error detection question in this paragraph there was mention a line and there was some error you have to find this sentence and mark it that kind of question is asked here next tenth tenth question is from uh, 
fill in the blanks you see Russia rejected the outcome as a political vote that came of severe pressure from the US and dashed European countries I think the answer will be D but I don't know why they don't use the any or any kind of article here and if I go the analytic portion you see in the given sentence the noun European countries is an unspecified plural that's why no article is used maybe it's correct I have no any explanation of this question so I mark it the but here is mentioned no article next error detection question Th these questions are totally easy you can easily solve it out next here in this fillers portion the question given is easy but the under this question there are some four to five words are given the vocabs meaning is totally different i really don't know the whole vo all vocabs meaning that's why i done it do it incorrect you see here veracious vociferous voracious that kind of words meaning i really don't know so that's why i take vociferous because i know this meaning loudly like but i don't know voracious meaning after reading this uh, question I feel vociferous is the correct option in this blank but uh, after uh, seeing the analysis portion they mention voracious is the correct option voracious meaning actually engaging in an activity with great eagerness or enthusiasm that kind of meaning is uh, applicable here next 17 question also I have not correct so the answer will be bemuse amuse not amuse is correct uh, wraith. None of these strikes targeted Bin Laden who seemed to have vanished like a wraith. Wraith meaning a ghost or ghost-like image of someone, especially on one seen shortly before or after their death. That kind of meaning of wraith. I don't know the meaning of wraith. That's why I leave it. Next, uh, fillers. Next filler is I. he expected that I would eventually dash myself to running our home i think uh, behest meaning to order someone uh, that kind of meaning it says but uh, relegate is the correct option here relegate meaning assign an inferior rank or position to put down or lower here is mentioned so the word relegate fits perfectly as it clearly depicts the paradigm shift where the individual is expected to lower or put down the position as he or she is expected right so that's why relegate is the correct option 20 basically i think fillers portion which is my weak portion in this mock test because the vocabs are different in other mocks so that's why i didn't correct all those fillers so i have to work on these fillers and uh, try to practice more vocabs that will help in my examination if you have feel the same you have to reading Hindu editorial every day and uh, try to note down the all shorts word or vocabs that will boost your stock of words, right? And next, the heartache of knowing that a great deal of this maishri could have been avoided is tantamount to our own genocide. Tantamount means equivalent in seriousness too. Okay, so that's why tantamount is the perfect option. Next, 21. 21st questions I have done wrong. Intrusive. Intrusive meaning is causing disruption or annoyance. So the correct option is reclusive. Okay. Next uh, 22. Censure means I mark it acclamation but they mark it condemnation. Why? Because the word censure means the formal expression of severe disapproval. So that's why condemnation is the correct option. Next 23rd, 24th, 25th. These questions is based on. Yeah, incorrect which of the following is or are incorrect. But I leave it. I didn't find the answer here. That's why I leave it. 26 to 20, 26 to 36 questions asked from closed test and closed test is not difficult, it's totally easy. You uh, And next, word-based question, the word is given and three sentences are given. They will 
use these words in three sentences and you have to find which uh, which uh, sentence is wrong and which uh, word is most perfectly used in the sentence right so i have done it correct correct novel scores this is in you know easy and 38 question is different here is mentioned in the following questions three sentences are given and in each sentence a word is highlighted which is incorrect and needs to be replaced i leave it because i don't understand the meaning of this words i understand the letters meaning i mean sentence meaning but don't know the all vocabs meaning that's why i leave it 39 foil it's easy current it's easy words usage and next 41st to 45th questions asked from uh, important part you have to replace this important part with a given sentence with the given words mentioned below so and 46 to 50th questions asked from parajambles so that's the overview of English section and I think this sectional mock is easy to moderate but the vocabs are really difficult for me I don't know that's how for yourself if you have not give this mock you can give this mock and share your marks and your rank in the comment section uh, so that's all for today I will meet you soon in the next video please stay tuned for the next update thank you all Stay healthy, stay safe.